What's going on everyone? Michael back with another video. So today I'm going to show you how to send a Teams notification every time a new Microsoft form has been submitted. This is helpful to determine every time a new form is submitted and filled out. So you don't have to go back and check the form and just get a notification to a Teams channel. So I have a team right here called Marketing. So first and foremost, I don't want to send the notifications in general channel because that's usually used for chat. So I will go ahead and add a new channel. We also call this notification. And then uh, this is for the Microsoft form notifications. Uh, we'll leave it on standard. There's no need to make it private unless you want to only have the owners access this uh, channel. And we'll automatically show this in everyone's channel list. So it's just creating in the uh, channel real quick. And there we go. We have a brand new channel for us to send our notifications to. So I've actually created a form already. So just a little survey for the marketing team. Would you think of the presentation? Would you recommend the product to a friend? And would you buy this product? So three simple short answers. You can make the form as long as you want, but for the uh, sake of time on the video, we'll keep it nice and short. So let's go into Power Automate. And we will go to Create. Automate Cloudflow, because we want this to be automated. So we will name this Form submission to team notification. And it will be when a new response is submitted because we want this to happen every time a new form is filled out. So this first step, I have two forms made. We want to select the marketing cervix. That's the form we are working with. And we want to get the response details so we can send it within the Teams chat as well. So get response details, Microsoft Forms. It will ask for the form ID, same form. Response ID will be the uh, only option available. So every time a new response submitted, we want to get the response details. And then we want to, we'll type in team. So you have a ton of options here, but we want to send a message. So let's see if we can find that. Post message in a channel, chat or channel. This seems like it will work. So let's go ahead and select this one. This step actually. So it's just creating the connection for me since I haven't had a connection yet with uh, Teams. So you can either post it as Flowbot, the user, which would be me, Michael, or Power Virtual Agents. Uh, we're just gonna stick with Flowbot for now. All right, so what do we want to do? Post in chat with Flowbot, channel. We want to po post in a channel. All right, we have a few more options now, so we need to select the team. So it will look under your account for all the teams that you are associated with, and it will list them here. So I have two teams I'm currently in, and I want it to be in the marketing team. So we'll go ahead and select marketing channel id it's going to pull all the channels so as you can see we have general notifications here we have general notifications as well so we will go ahead and select the notifications channel because we don't want this going to the general channel and now we can save our message so this will be uh alert and you can make when you make the message whatever you want i'll just say alert because why not a new microsoft form has been submitted Please go check the response. And then we will just list some details about the form. So what do you think of the presentation? Uh, presentation uh, thoughts. And we'll just select the uh, get response details. So that's actually gonna, uh, it's gonna post within the message what the user submitted as an answer. Would you run recommendation? 
user purchase question mark <laughs> i don't know but uh we will go with that and then we'll just include the email email all right and if you want to if you want to add up tax make it red whatever make it bold why not let's make this message look pretty fun all right so this flow looks like it's all good to go so we'll go and check it out so let me go ahead and switch over to the survey in microsoft forms so what do you think of the presentation i loved it would you recommend the product to a friend maybe would you buy this product yes so let's go ahead and make sure the flow is turned on usually it's always turned on after you create it so it is turned on and we'll go ahead and press submit all right so a couple seconds and you can tell it succeeded so let's go ahead and check the notifications channel as you can see we do actually have a notification and it seems like we didn't get the notification in the bottom right hand corner that's because i have it set to custom if you want all the activity in this channel go ahead and select all activity so as you can see we did get this message from michael pickett via power automate a new Microsoft form has been submitted. Please go check the response. And then we have the details from the form submission. So let's go ahead and check to see if the notification works. Since I turned it on, all activity, post replies and mentions. Let's go ahead and we will resubmit this. So I don't feel like filling out another form. I'm just going to resend this trial, I mean this test case again. So you just go in, click on it, and it will resubmit the form for you. All right. And bang, there we go. Power Automate posting new messages in the marketing notifications. Let's go check it out. And there it is. So that's a super simple way to send a Teams notification every time you get a new Microsoft Form submission. This is helpful because a lot of users I've seen in uh, my field use Microsoft Forms for a lot of things. Usually they're storing the data on SharePoint, analyzing the data and so forth and so forth. But it's also nice to have notifications or email notifications every time a new submission has been submitted. So I guys hope you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more and that'll be all.